Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Varmithrax. This is Cataclysm, and we're continuing our Drunk Mutant Master Challenge. Hopefully I get less abuse from the game today than we did yesterday. Uh, I'd like to get some fun stuff done without just getting blocked by the game at every turn. Had some fun yesterday, but man, was it throwing some curveballs at me. So, we're going to go into a lab today. Hopefully we... Uh, Get a few floors of this stupid ice lab that's appeared next to us here, and uh, we'll get some stuff accomplished. Hopefully get some mutagens, purifiers, serums, all that kind of stuff. All right, so the Drunk Mutant Master, what is it? Well, it's a black belt character where we take the Zui Quan fighting style. That's the drunken boxing style. And then I also took the Drunken Master trait to go along with it. And to add some difficulty, I also took illiterate. So I can't read, I can't learn skills from books, I can't get recipes from books, I can't use computers. So that makes for a pretty tough time in a lot of ways. We're having to figure out ways to work around that kind of problem. Um, and also, we are trying to achieve enlightenment and perfection through mutation. We did everything we can to perfect our normal human body, and now we're going to go beyond and try to perfect a mutated version. So we're using every chance we get to get mutations pumped into our system. You can see on the list here, we've got a few already added in. Some uh, labs that we dove into and some body sites of scientists that we found gave us a few mutagens and serums. And we've had some pretty good luck so far. Only a couple of minor negatives, but some really good positives that have added into our combat values. We picked up Fluffy Tail, which is great for adding to our dodge ability, which was already stupid high. Uh, we have gotten Insect Wings, which is an activatable item, which lets me burn my fuel from basically my uh, hunger, food, or food, thirst, and uh, energy, you know, tiredness value for uh, really, really rapid movement. And it's great for getting away from things that are going to kill me really, really quickly. We also have Robust Genetics. I took that at the beginning as a chosen trait just because I knew I was going to be doing the mutant side, so I wanted to try to weight things in our favor and get better results on some of them. And we have strong lungs, which is helping us out by regenerating our stamina or our breath a lot faster. So all in all, we can move really, really well. Um, we're having tons of fun combining all of that with rollerblades. I'm using rollerblades every chance I can get, and it just makes us ridiculously fast And when we're moving around. So we're going to go rollerblading in the lab. Um, a few negatives and a few things that don't have much effect. Rough skin we picked up. Doesn't have any direct effect yet, but I think if we get another level of it, it'll give us, like, bark skin or some kind of toughened skin for added damage protection. Things like that. So you can check the list out. Skill-wise, we started with 8 unarmed combat, 8 melee, 8 or eight dodging, and uh, we just now got to 9, do nine unarmed. We've gone up one level of unarmed, and that is after... 2,040 kills, all hand-to-hand, -hand, other than a few minor things that I ran over, but 2,000 plus kills, hand-to-hand, -hand, and we've gone up from level 8 to level 9 in unarmed skill. And this is on day, what do we, day 34 is what we're on right now, so a little over 2,000 kills in the first 34 days of the game. Alright, so that's pretty much our skill list. We've managed to level up a few other things here and there. Um, the only thing I purchased was the throwing skill of three, and it's gone up a couple of levels. Everything else we've earned the hard way, so we've got a long way to go on a few of them, and it's going to be a slow process until I sit down and just really grind out some crafting to uh, get a few levels up. So that's the character sheet. Here's our items we're carrying around, but this is going to change here in a second. The only thing I did in between episodes from last episode to yesterday to now is I took a few minutes to sort my inventory piles. I hadn't done that yet. We just basically threw everything into these cargo spaces and took off from that messed up city where my save game file corrupted the map. <laughs> so I needed to get that sorted out. So I've just gone through and sorted all the piles. Now I've got my food pile here. This is tools. This is medicine, CBMs, artifacts, basically specialty type items all in here. Uh, here we've got guns, ammo, magazines and such. Raw materials for crafting, all the various random stuff. Clothing and armor, and then vehicle components, for spare parts, things like that. And then these two are empty for me to just dump stuff into as we're traveling, and then I'll sort from there into the other spaces as needed. I need to put one more right here. Um, as soon as we come up to another cargo space uh, out on a road somewhere, I'll rip one out and get it installed. Um, somehow the 
boom crane, or the engine crane that I was looking for, has shown up again. Folded engine crane. No idea. It disappeared on me. I searched and searched and searched, and it was not in any of these spaces. And then as I was sorting everything out, I saw it pop on there again. So, I don't know what nook it's been hiding in, but uh, it's it showed up again. But I'm still missing a pretty good pile of my medicines and a few other items I remember. So, I still don't know what's going on with some of the cargo spaces or inventory sorting. But uh, we'll just kind of deal with it. So, I got everything sorted out and into a nice coherent coherent piles. Um, we've got a few things on our seat here, but it's mostly just sleeping items. So we've got our blindfold, blanket and pillows, and then the raincoat I put on as needed, and the earplugs if we need them. And that's pretty much it. So I'm actually going to strip off pretty much all my clothing right now. We're going to take all this stuff off except for some of the utility items like the stethoscope, uh, things like that. And then we're going to reevaluate what we're going to wear when we go into this ice lab. So I already know it drops to, with the clothing I've got on now, the temperature was like minus 40 to minus 50 on my various body parts. So even the first floor is going to be a bit rough for us to kind of handle. So we'll see how we're going to do it. Here's the map, by the way. Let me finish my little recap. So we ran into some problems over the last few live streams for this series because we've been having some crashing issues uh, that has started up uh, about a week ago. Um, just Crashing happening fairly often, unfortunately, so I've been auto-saving a lot, but we had an issue where we were down here in this area, and we had an auto-save firing off. It was in the midst of the auto-save process when the client crashed again, and it ended up corrupting the map. I had had a whole bunch of the map over here completely filled in. I'd done a bunch of stuff in the cities, and... When I finally got things reloaded and back in, all of this was grayed out again, and it doesn't quite work right. <laughs> so it's kind of weird to try to explain, but just trust me, it's all messed up in this area. So we left, basically, and uh, we took off north, back up to where we started originally, and then we came down this southern road. We went on these various long, long, long car trip up and around, up and around, exploring roads and uh, dead end points. And this is all new and it's all working normally because it hadn't generated all this yet. So everything's working fine up in this area. And so right now we're hanging out next to this one lab. It's the only lab we found on uh, that entire northern trip. And of course it's an ice lab. So that's not too fun. Uh, the last three labs that I've gone into, one has been an ice lab, one has been a hell lab, and the third, this one, is now an ice lab. So <laughs> I'm having really, really interesting luck regarding the labs that we're running into and trying to get into them. Uh, yesterday we also ran into chicken walkers, uh, anti-material rifle roadblocks, so anti-vehicle roadblocks, a factory that had probably a dozen turrets outside it, the National Guard camp, uh, the wander spawn and evolution settings are broken, so the cities are packed with zombie masters and brutes, uh, shocker brutes and so on, and it's just been a bit of a nightmare. But we're still alive, still rolling, so that's kind of where we're at. By the way, once we finish up this lab, we'll be heading south, back over to this main north-south route, because we're heading down here, basically. So we're going to get down to this major city here, take a look at what else we might need to encounter or loot, and then we've got a bunch of endpoints we can look for more labs and so on. So that's kind of the goal here in the short term. But we're going to try to do at least the first couple of levels of this lab. I think I can stay warm enough to do, I know I can do the first floor, I might be able to do the second floor, and I doubt I can do the third or below. It's just going to get too cold for the kind of gear we can wear currently. The big issue is because of my illiteracy, uh, I don't have, I've got a tailoring of one, so I can't just craft up all the normal, really super hand, high end fancy gear. And my fab's only three. So unless I sit down and actually work on those just by building things, since I can't read from books, uh, it's going to take me a while to get any skill ups. So we're going with just random gear we've picked up in the road as we've been traveling around. So we've got some decent things. So let's take a look. Um, let's make. And where to do this? Um, we'll try to stay inside. Hey there, Puppy Stream. Thanks for following. Well, let me check in with chat here, see people chatting at me. 
Yeah, the engine crane just popped up for no apparent reason. And again, look of a. I looked and looked and looked. <laughs> yeah, Neo. Ice Lab, Ice Lab, Hell Lab. I've had terrible, terrible luck with those recently. Oh, the Ice Labs are nothing. The Hell Lab I found, I've never seen one before, and I've played a lot of Cataclysm. I assume it's particular to PKs and the Doom uh, stuff, like the Hell Spires and all that. Uh, we didn't spend much time there. I went downstairs, and as soon as my foot hit the bottom of the stairs, all sorts of stuff started exploding around me, and we just walked back upstairs and left. <laughs> so, no way am I trying to do that this early. Yeah, it was pretty fancy looking. The whole upstairs building was different, too, for the lab, so it was kind of weird. But uh, we're not prepared for that yet. we got a lot of mutating and gear equipping to do before we try that hell lab. But we can do at least the first few levels of this ice lab, so... All right, but like I said, we've got to redo some choices on our gear here. So I'm just going to pretty much take everything off, and then we're going to resort things. So let's uh, let's just do that. I'm just going to drop every. Oops, I'm going to drop everything I'm wearing into that space in the left. I'm going to keep the sheath on, the wristwatch, and the Molly pack. I'm not going to worry about. Well, actually, let's uh, let's do it this way. Let's activate the holster, get rid of that gun. All right, now let's keep those. Um, I'm going to drop the holster for now. I'm really not using guns much. Um, we'll keep the sunglasses, but everything else is pretty much going. Keep the Halligan bar, Binox. Keep the canteen. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm keeping more than I'm getting rid of, really. Um, we're going to get rid of the boots, and I think I'm going to get rid of the backpack too. It's going to put us right at the edge of our current volume, but we'll be putting some clothes on here pretty quick. Alright, so we'll dump all that. I'm going to dump the gas mask on my driver's seat. Um, yeah, I can't think of ever needing a gas mask inside the lab. I can't remember a time I've ever needed one there. Actually, let's let's go ahead and put it in the main clothing pile. Try to keep this as coherent as possible. And the army pants. Alright, so all of the rest of this stuff should be just incidental on various body parts. Except for the molly pack, and I'm, I'm going to keep that. Yep, alright. All of that goes there, and the gun goes into the gun pile. Alright, so... We need to figure out how we're going to deal with this situation. And let's do a quick test. So we're basically naked. Let's go see what the temperatures are that I'm going to have to deal with. Alright, so basically neg 60. So I need to account for 60... Well, actually I only need to get it down 30 degrees. I need to get to neg 29 to still be in green condition. So we'll just say I need to get 30 to 35 degrees worth of warmth on all the body parts. We can do that fairly easily. I've got some winter gear that we picked up from soldiers. So if we go wear... And so I've got winter jacket. Let's search for winter. Alright, I've got a winter jacket, winter coat, and then i got fitted versions of the pants and the jacket. So let's do... And that's 50 warmth for the pants, so that's good. And then... We'll also do that version of the jacket. Alright. Alright. PRM Marine boots are super encumbering. They don't fit yet. And I doubt I'll get high enough level to fit them. <laughs> um, I might go with the sleeves, though. Probably end up putting the helmet back on. I do have a fur hat as well. Actually, I'm going to go with the fur hat because that's pretty much going to guarantee the temperature, no problem. Alright, so we've got head, torso, arms, and legs. I need feet, hands, mouth. Um, for feet. Boots are 30, the steel toad are 30, those are barely enough. 
I get some good socks on, that would be enough to get me through the first level, but the second level is going to be pretty rough. Not sure I have footwear that's going to going to handle this. I'm looking down the uh, warmth pile just for high warmth items. I got that winter coat. Packets, anything 30 or above. There's the wool socks. So pretty much the wool socks and the steel toed boots I think will get me through the first level and maybe the second. Oh, I got the thermal electric socks too I could throw on. Alright, let's go with first the wool socks here. And I think we'll just go back to the steel toed boots. Alright, now for gloves. Gloves are gonna. I got wool gloves. I think that's gonna be my best choice. Yeah, we're gonna go with the wool gloves. How are we doing? All right, mouth is the only thing. I think I'm going to wear the uh, thermal electric socks as well. And then for mouth, we've got the kafia. and feet are still the lowest. They're going to be the hardest ones. Now I can flip on the thermoelectric socks or the feet. The hands, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the hands. Um, do I have any liners? I do have glove liners. That's 15, so we'll wear those. I think that's about the best I can do. Alright, let's sort everything. Winter jacket. Fur hat. Glasses, kafia. All right, without doubling and tripling up some clothing, that's about the best I can do. Let's go take a look real quick. God, I love ice labs. Down we go. Wait a few rounds and ouch! Still not enough. Hmm. Sometimes the temperature is kind of goofy. I just want to step away and let a little time pass. Yeah, we're still. Those legs are really close. I need to get something else on my legs for sure. Legs and arms both. I need like essentially one more layer on damn near everything. So back we go. All right, um, we can do the sleeves for the arms. Let's go ahead and do that. That'll help a tiny bit. Really don't want to throw a jacket on. Um, let's throw the balaclava on. I'm going to really get uh, encumbered up, but I'm not really worried about fighting anything down there. It's mostly just avoiding turrets. But we'll see how things look after I throw a few more things on here. Uh, the apron's got 15 warmth. That's going to be torso and legs. I think I'm going to go with the leather jacket. That's 30 more warmth for the torso and arms. Then I just need something more for the legs, I think, and we're okay. No, don't commit suicide. <laughs> um, what can I put on the legs? It's not going to be ridiculous. I think I'm going to end up with like army pants or something. I 
Army pants are 20. Leather pants that fit are one less encumbrance and five more warmth. So let's go with that. We'll see how ridiculous things are. Um, not too bad actually. We're still right around 30 encumbrance on a lot of body parts. Not horrible. I think we've got plenty of warmth now on everything. I'm still a little worried about uh, the legs. They're still only showing plus 10. That doesn't seem right with the uh, winter pants and the leather pants. I mean, that's 50. That's 75 points of warmth. Something's not adding up right on the legs. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that's definitely not supposed to be 10 right now. So something's broke on the temperature for the leggings. Yeah, that, that, that can't be right. The winter pants by themselves should be plenty warm enough for this. I think we're just going to have to go in and see what happens. I don't know whether it's calculating it right behind the scenes and it's just displaying it wrong, or if it's just all the way wrong. Um, we'll have to find out. Alright, so we're going to go with that, I think. It's only 44 torso encumbrance. Now that's just with the single backpack, so we don't have much in the way of uh, carrying capacity. Um, so we're going to be pretty selective in what we're going to pick up. I've got food, I've got some water, some tea. Uh, we'll be wearing our nail knuckles. We've got some grenades. Oh yeah, I've got, uh, unless they've disappeared on me, we should have some EMP grenades. We're going to take those in just in case. Alright, got our normal carry gear, our rollerblades we'll put on. Oh, that's right, I'm going to be wearing the rollerblades instead of the steel-toed boots. Um, and then we've got our medical gear. So let's drop the boots. Alright, it is definitely still reporting the warmth wrong in some ways, so I'm not sure if it's just not counting the doubling up of clothing or how that works, but uh, definitely not adding up correctly. I mean, it's reporting my feet are 30, 30 degrees warmer, but numerically it's 20, 25 degrees less warmth than what my legs are supposed to have currently. So, I don't know what's broke here, but uh, I'm not getting the value for both of these for the warmth for some reason. Okay. Um, me there, Rev and Puppy. Eh, tailoring super easy to level. I, I've, I've gotten out of the habit of spending points on things that are super easy to level early game. I mean, I'll happily throw points at uh, computers and electronics. Those are notoriously hard to do without specific books. But uh, all the other stuff for crafting is super easy to do. Um, now nah, the warmth isn't changing. I don't know why. It, it may not be an issue. It just may be reporting it incorrectly on the screen here. So the math behind the scenes, it might, it might not get frostbite on my legs as I travel. So once I get in the lab, I'll wait to see if I actually get negative consequences for this. I don't know if it's a reporting error or if it's actually not working right. So we'll see. Actually, let's try this. Let's take off the... Uh, let's take off the leather pants. Check the temperature. It says minus 16. Where are the leather pants? Minus 9. <laughs> yeah, definitely not getting the value, so. Leather pants are supposed to be giving me 25 warmth. I got like 6 out of that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Alright, leather pants. Let's put the winner. No, actually... With the leather pants in, on the outside. Making sure I've got all my protective parts on the outside. Or 
torso is the primary one I gotta be careful of. Alright, I think we're all set. So the benefit for the roller blades is right here. 66 points to move a space. That's awesome, awesome. And that's just, that's walking. It goes here, if I go to run mode, now it's 33 points to move a space. So I can basically move three spaces uh, before a normal other human would be able to. 100 is the normal base movement. So it's basically triple speed. And I can run forever with my strong lungs, not draining my stamina very fast, so. Makes for quick zippy times. So, alright, I think we're about ready. Do a final check of my medicine and my random gear here. We're covered on food and water. Basically, we're just going to be playing avoid the turrets, so... I'm also notorious for stepping on the dissectors. My perception of eight is not serving me well in spotting the dissectors, so I end up stepping on them. Um, not sure. Do I have another pair of roller blades? <laughs> I think this is my backup pair. Is that so all? I do have a, a dirty pair I could wear in an emergency, so, all right. All right, um, yeah, let's go. Let's get this figured out. Oop, one more thing I wanted. I always forget something. I want... Oh, give me 20. 20 emptied or zeroed out cash cards. <laughs> okay, so I know the room we're starting in here. And we'll go ahead and flash our flashlight. Yep, so not going to be anything useful in this room. Uh, but I need to see where the doors are. Should be able to see them all from here. Okay, we've got doors pretty much every direction. North, north, south, east, and west. Um, we'll go to the west for now. I remember all of my uh, traits here. Alright, the only trait I have that's activatable is my wings, everything else. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, hey, we've got a stairs down already. Well, that's useful in that now I can check what the temperature on the second floor is going to be. Uh, the rest of the room I don't care so much about. It's not going to be much for me in here, unfortunately. Let's check what the temperature is going to be on the second floor. Oh boy. Alright, let's go back up. <laughs> we won't be using that. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, took me right into a room with a turret. Good way to get yourself killed real quick. All right, hey there, panic panel. <laughs> um, the YouTube play playthrough for this. I'm kind of stacked up pretty deep on my YouTube releases. I don't want to release multiple series at once. I'm already saturating it, <laughs> so. I'd have to check. I don't remember when I've got this one scheduled to start releasing on YouTube. Um, I think the Amnesia one's just coming up towards the end of it, so it won't be too much longer. We'll be starting into the uh, Drunk Mutant Master series on YouTube. Alright. Um, yeah, so I can't go downstairs. I really should have brought, instead of a flashlight, brought that light stick. <laughs> I might go out and get it again. Light stick just lasts so much longer. Holy crap, there's a Shoggoth in here! Okay, game. I'm getting really, really tired of this crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. For anybody that doesn't know, this is one of the nastiest beasties in the entire game. <laughs> A gargantuan protoplasmic blob constantly reshaping, forming new pseudopods seemingly at will. All over its body are eyes that form and disappear. It looks at you with malice. Yeah, it is huge. It can swim. Exciting. 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, Shoggoth on the first level of the only lab I've been able to find recently. Like this little tiny room is going to hold the Shoggoth. Holy crap. This is probably going to keep me from trying to explore this lab. This some bitch can survive at one of the mini nukes. <laughs> so God. Hell labs, ice labs, all the other crap I hit yesterday. And now the only ice lab in my way or in my path that I found, I can't even do the first couple of levels because of freaking Shoggoth. <laughs> Yeah, we're out of here. I can't afford to even try to investigate this place. That guy is going to break out. <laughs> um, I don't think it can break out of the more advanced uh, containments, but I think this one it's got a good chance of getting out of. <laughs> I usually don't see Shoggoths until lower floors in one of the other main containment cells. This one's usually you see just really little guys in these things, like the Brutes and so on. I uh, I can't take the chance. I cannot explore a level when there's a Shoggoth possibly going to get out because my reality bubbles can overlap them the other oh, the entire time I'm here. No, oh, I'm not hallucinating. <laughs> no, there's no hallucinating going on on this one. All right, flashlight off. <laughs> we walk back over here. We go back upstairs and we leave. I really, really hate leaving a lab, but I cannot deal with a Shoggoth. God damn it. I was looking forward to getting some more mutagens and serums in our system. I can't believe what we found so far on this trip. I mean, the end of yesterday's session and this has just been ridiculous. We got a strange temple. Those are super rare. Then we had the... We found multiple of these super mansions. Where did that factory go? There's the factory that's got stacks of quadruple turrets all around the outside. Then we have the National Guard camp that's got massive turrets on the outside. Then we also had multiple run-ins with Triffid Groves, with um, anti-material rifle, anti-vehicle roadblocks, uh, chicken walker, <laughs> bandit camps. Ugh. Yeah, we gotta leave. I can't deal with that thing, so... Frickin' Shoggoth. On the first floor, and the first down ladder, or the second floor ladder, leads you right into a, a turret room. Uh, there is. You can use the... Uh, here's the commands. It's challenge... Mod list... And settings. And I think uptime works as well. So, those are pretty much the only ones I have programmed into the bot, so feel free to use them when you need them. I'll try to keep those current. Alright, so, we've got a bunch of winter gear, and uh, we can't really use it. Now we're overheated. So, let's reconfigure our gear yet again. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep the leather pants on for the moment. Let's dump... Keep the roller blades, dump the winter pants, keep the leather jacket, dump the balaclava. I'm gonna keep the sleeves, dump the gloves, dump the thermal electric. Actually, we'll keep the thermals because they're not turned on, they're only 10 warmth. We'll drop the wool, drop the fur hat, drop the winter jacket. I think that was it. Alright, where are army helmets? Where the... I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to try out the MBR vest again. I think I got a Kevlar actually somewhere. Um, reset, find Kevlar. Yeah, I did get a Kevlar vest, so maybe I'll clean that up and wear that. Let's grab my washboard. Activate it. Oh yeah, that's right. I need the Kevlar in my hand before it'll do it. Grab the vest. It is to my east, of course. Alright, now I 
activate the washboard. Kevlar vest. All right, let's wear the Kevlar vest. It's only five encumbrance, but it gives us uh, four and eight protection, 15 warmth. So that's better than the steel vest. That thing's too encumbering. All right, so Kevlar vest and the leather jacket. I think that's more than enough. That will offset most of the low-level zombie strikes that hit me. And a reasonable torso encumbrance. So I think we're okay on torso. Got the army helmet for the head. Um, should be all we need for now. Got the kafia for the mouth, which I don't technically need right now. I think we'll drop that as well. All right, so we got the sleeves and the uh, leather jacket for the arms. That should be good. That keeps my arm encumbrance pretty good, only 15. Uh, I do need gloves. We'll get the tack gloves again, probably. Then legs, I've just got the leather pants. I need one more item on my legs. And we're going to stick with... Oh, yeah, i got the wool socks on still. I'm going to drop the wool socks. Where'd you go, wool socks? There they are. All right, so gloves and another pant item. Um, where are my fitted tactical gloves? And what are we gonna put on the pants? Cargo? Either cargo or army. Um, Going to be the fitted army pants. They're only nine encumbrance, same protection factor. So we'll go with uh, yeah, go with that one. All right, left leg's a bit high, but we'll go with it. I think that's good. I do want to check one other thing armor items. So we've got our basic power armor and our basic power armor helmet and we do have a UPS. We did pull a UPS out of the mine yesterday. That mine trip was a... <laughs> the, both of the mine trips were uh, pretty entertaining so good times yesterday going into the mines. Um, well, I've got two of those MBR vests with steel plating. Helmet, combat boots, marine boots. Why do I have uh, multivitamins in there? <laughs> all right. Um, all resets. UPS. That's right. I can't install the recharging station yet. I need to increase my electronic skill. All right. I think that's good. We're, let's get moving. So we've got of our basic gear. Uh, we'll drop the EMP grenades. Wield our knuckles. All right. So we got our weapon. We got our emergency grenades. Our throwing sticks. Our carry items. Don't need the washboard anymore. Food and water, and our medicine. Yep, we're good to go. All right, lab. Note, <laughs> so it's a ice lab with Shoggoth on first floor. <laughs> Stupid game. All right, so we're going to go straight south, take the eastern branch when we get down there. How's the vehicle doing? Ram's doing good. I think we're completely green. Except for that one item in the back. And the aisle lights. Wants to take duct tape again. Screw you. Alright, vehicle's good. Plenty of gas still. Actually, before we take off, let's grab a jerry can. And fill that tank. Now, I guess I didn't need to gather or grab it. I'm close enough to it. All right, so maxed out our gas. All 
So we've got 120 liters, maxed out our gas there, and we've still got 16 liters spare available. I think we're good to go. Still got 50 liters of clean water in the tank. A big bunch of that just got used to clean that stupid Kevlar vest, and the batteries are fine, and the guns are good. All right, let's get moving. I do love my van. I'm really, really happy I slogged through that stupid broken map city to get this van fixed up. Took a lot of reloads from crashing from all those constant blob swarms that kept crashing us. But we did manage to get it, so I'm super happy about my modded security van. Alright, and I know the road's clear, because I've already traveled this route, so... I am watching out. We've got piggy piggies. Uh-oh. Um, I might stop to grab the pigs. Nah, let's keep going. i got 40 or 50 dehydrated meat. I think I'm good for a while. Get out of the way, ants. Ah, we got worm sign tracking along the road there. Uh, I never did go look at the camps or the last man on earth shelter. Um, what could be in there? Books I don't care about. I don't need the water. I don't need the basic food supplies. It'll have a minor gun and some ammo. Nah, I got no reason to stop at an LMOE shelter, so we're not going to go there either. Alright, sorry giant ant. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fun Guy, just, just more fun stuff, goddamn game, <laughs> I swear. It's got it out for me. Finally find a lab, resign myself to diving into yet another ice lab, and... I go downstairs, I walk through the first door, and I see a Shoggoth in a containment. <laughs> Not to mention the first set of stairs I find in that same room, I walk down and it's got a turret in the room with me. So I think that's two warnings, I got the message, we left. No way am I exploring a lab with a Shoggoth on the first floor. Alright, all you ants. I don't want to run into any of you stupid things. How we doing? We're getting close to that apartment complex. I think I am going to drive up to the front and see if it's one of the uh, NPC uh, complexes. Not NPC. Uh, Griffith Queens all over the place. Hissing broods, explosions. Lovely. I don't think they're allowed to go under the road. Maybe they are. <laughs> I really hope not. I think I won't get exploded by a hissing brood as long as I uh, stay on the road. Those stupid hissing broods are mobile landmines, basically. I want to see if that apartment complex is a uh, closed-off type of refugee center, and also if they have any cars out front. I'm still desperately searching for a mobile meth lab. We've covered I don't know how many miles of road and city streets and so on in the vehicle and in our rollerblades and yes it is one. Alright well if you haven't seen this this is semi-interesting and I actually have the ability to get into this place this time. Last series I did I found one of these I didn't have an ability to get in. Let's stop right here and we'll take a look here. All right, nothing but a couple of ants. Hello, vehicle. No, oh, what you got? Glow stick and a jerry can. No thanks. This is busted, and the signs. I think they read left or right. Oh yeah, I'm illiterate. I forgot. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, not showing. Last time I saw one of these, I could see the NPCs inside. 
I'm wondering if it's because I'm illiterate that I can't see it. Hmm. I've got a pickaxe. I'm kind of curious. I've never been in one of these that, uh... It does say right here, Sebastian, Joffrey, and Larian, both refugees. So... Is everybody having issues with Twitch at the moment? I can't really tell on my side. It says I've got a good stream strength. I don't see any issues directly, but uh, I can't check some things without ending the stream. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I've never been in this version of one of the refugee type centers. Um, only thing I can think of to get in is going through a wall with a pickaxe or a jackhammer. I don't know if they take kindly to that kind of thing. Um, I just... With this guy and the playthrough I'm doing, though, I just can't think of a reason to go in there. I've got medical supplies. I don't, I'm not really looking for guns. They're not likely to have mutagen stuff, which is what I'm really after. Um, I'm not going to stick around and do quests or anything for them. I don't know if they go hostile if you break in through a wall or something. I doubt that would trigger them that way. but So I think I'm just going to leave them alone for now. I'll make a note on it, though. So it's not too far off of where we're going to be heading. So quick trip north, and we can get back to it if we need to. So, but the signs say things like "Go away, no more refugees, we're full" or something like that. I can't remember all of them. Oops, trying to get in the wrong car here. <laughs> I'd rather get in my much much fancier car. All right, let's get moving again. At least one friendly thing in the area, though. Too bad it's so close to all the Triffid activity just north of it. Alright, uh, we are now going to be on new roads, so I've got to be careful and watch out. This area has been infested with uh, roadblocks and uh, chicken walkers and anti-material guns and so on. Another body sight. A couple of crack running around. What kind of body sights? Do I care? UPS, I care. Science ID cards. Ursine, mutagen, I care a bunch. All right. Uh, let's come to a halt. <laughs> Back up just a bit. Right there's good. All right. Well, this kind of makes up for the lab fiasco. Give me some goodies. We got another ID card, a thermal dissipation CBM. Barometer, don't really care about. A lot of bodies in this spot. Another ID card. Oh, now I see a scientist? <laughs> Where did he wander off to? Ah, there he is. Uh oh. You gonna throw acid at me or are you gonna start kicking out man hacks? Hmm. Let's just go beat him down. He throws out a man hack, we'll just have to deal with it. Come here, you. You gonna throw acid? No? Alright, fine by me. 40 points of fang damage and 33 points from my uh, counter attack. Dash guard, and that's about it. And burnt out bionics. Alright, back to the business of looting. Extra battery mod. Here's the UPS. Now I just need to get the, enough electronics to get that UPS recharging station installed. Ursine mutagen. We'll take that as soon as we get to a relatively calm spot. Alright, we are well full on uh, ID cards now. Jeez. I think this one had five. Yep, five ID cards this time. Alright, anything else? Not seeing anything else I care about. Alright, well that was good. Um, 
don't have the second backpack, so I can't carry a lot, so we'll dump this stuff off here pretty quick. Especially that UPS. Alright, UPS. Don't need those cash cards anymore. PBMs and the ID cards. And... Extra battery mod. Alright, I think that gets rid of most of the stuff I grabbed. Have some oatmeal. Um, I guess that's a good point, Cursed. I don't typically think to do that, take things apart for skill. I don't usually have enough of those kinds of items to really worry about it. Can I disassemble that tablet PC? I think that was the only electronic thing out here. Yeah. Let's stand here where we're going to... Oh, I'm curious. My electronics? I sure hope it's electronics. Is it 0% progress on level 1? So if we go to the disassemble screen, e-ink tablet PC, yes. And now we are electronics still at 0%. So I didn't gain, gain any XP for disassembling it. I gained raw materials to build with. And, yeah, all the parts landed there. Alright, let's get moving again. I'm not going to take that uh, mutagen until we're about to sleep. Next time I go to sleep, I prefer to take those right before bedtime. Whoops! <laughs> that was not the right direction. <laughs> Alright, got some more damage to fix. Yeah, yeah, stop pushing it. I just broke one of my things again. Not sure why my fingers decided to go that way. <laughs> Alright, how much damage did I do? Do, do, do. Stop driving. Alright, blew off that one entirely. Not a big deal. Probably the only thing that took any damage. Uh, really? It's too far away being up here? <laughs> That's kind of... I guess actually it's back here. Grab... Grab the welding goggles. Let's keep those up here. Just so I don't have to keep grabbing them when I want to do a quick repair. Alright, repair, repair. No. That's pretty much it. So I blew off that one thing. Not a big deal. Funny though. Not sure why my fingers did that. <laughs> do enough driving. Alright, those are craters. Those are craters. I've got a fresh water site coming up. Zoom out to here. Oh, just a saddle. Multiple saddles. It's 5 p.m., so I need to find a place to... Oops. Alright, so we got another giant mansion. This is like the third or fourth one we've seen now. Still can't think of a compelling reason to go into one. Other than the giant vats of uh, alcohol they keep in the basement, that is. But since I can't move those, I'm not going to worry about them. 
Uh, so, I guess I don't have to go to find out what's at the end of this road. It's just the access road to that giant mansion. So, disappointing. I was hoping to get another lab opportunity. Now I'm just hoping that the road is clear all the way down to this uh, city area. No major roadblocks, please. Anything with turrets is going to be not very easy to get around. Ah, I hate it when they do that. I can't. S I'm zoomed out so I can see other dangers, and I can't see when the stupid animals jump into my vehicle and get splattered. It makes me jump when it makes the noise. I'm less worried about that though than I am about chicken walkers and uh, anti-vehicle turrets. All right, another body site. Hello, Migo. And we're up to that intersection, so we're just about in the clear to get to that city. We just got a little smaller area of blocked-in forest. As long as that's clear, I think we're good. And down there, we've got a subway and a fast food restaurant. I wonder if it's just a little tiny town area there. We'll find out. All right, what kind of body site we got? Uh, looks like a camper site. Come here, Migos. Come here. Yeah, that's what I got for you. Stupid Migos. Kill Migos with a passion, especially mid-late game. <laughs> Every chance I get, they killed many, many of my early game characters. Alright, Triffid Queen is in the area too. Where's the Triffid Queen? That I do need to know. Right off the side of the road. <laughs> I almost ran into the thing. Alright, uh, that's awful close. I don't think I'm going to probably pick anything up here. Eh, generic stuff, backpacks, clothes, pants, 